Press on up. Hey guys, today I have a real-time arm workout for you inspired by Jessica Simpson's wedding weight loss. Her trainer, Harley Pasternak, is a fan of regular strength training, so we are going to focus on using some heavy dumbbells. I have 12 and a half and 10s today with me. I challenge you to use a weight that is going to make the last rep seem almost impossible. So to get started, you're going to warm up on your own for five minutes. You can either go for a run or use a jump rope. Now you have no excuses not to do this workout because it only takes 10 minutes. No excuses, let's go. The first move we're gonna do is a push up. We're gonna be on the ground. So this is a real time video. So get your mat, get ready. Make sure your dumbbells are right there. I'm using my gym boss, but since you guys are doing it along with me, you do not need your own timer. We first up have 30 seconds of push ups. Ready, let's go. If you're advanced, you're gonna be up on your toes. If you're a beginner, you're going to modify that by being down on your knees. Make sure that you have a line from your knees to your top or your shoulders, your neck. But you're more advanced, let's lift it on up. Only 30 seconds, keep your belly button pulled in, 10. Stay strong, exhale on the way up. You have four, three, two, one. Quick transition, grab your heavy set of dumbbells. We're going to go into a bicep curl with a shoulder press. Now I'm using 12s and a half here. You can either do a hammer curl or a regular one. We're working the biceps as well as the triceps, as well as the shoulders. We're gonna be doing this move for one full minute. Knees are slightly bent, hips are tucked up. Pull your belly button in a little bit tighter, a little bit closer to your back, as you can see right here. We're halfway done, 30 seconds to go. Press it on up and overhead, lower back down. This is standard strength training. If by the end of this rep, you feel like you could do 20 more, it's time to add a little bit more weight. Press on up, I promise you're not gonna get bulky. More muscle, more calories you burn at rest. And lower down. We are gonna go into a bent over row. Coming up in three, two, one. Bend over, your back is straight. You row the dumbbells up by your waist and then you let them go back, go back down. We're gonna do this exercise for one minute. Make sure that you're pinching your shoulder blades together down and away from your ears. This is going to help with your posture, standing up taller, looking leaner. So if you're a bride, like Jessica Simpson, even if you don't lose weight, you're gonna look smaller. Halfway there, keep it up, lower down, row it up. Exhale as you lift, and then lower it back down. We're working our upper back and our middle back here, squeezing it, like Justin Timberlake says, we're getting a sexy back. This is gonna look awesome if you have a strapless or a backless dress as well. Here we go, we're coming on up into the tricep overhead extensions. Let's go. You can take both dumbbells, bring them overhead, and extend on up. Now, I'm strong so I can do the 12 and a half, but some of you may need to drop down to just one, so then you just put that one dumbbell down, take it overhead, extend it on up. You wanna make sure that your elbows are enclosed by your ears. Abs engage, you got it. Your heart rate should be pretty high right now. Exhale as you reach up. Halfway there, 30 seconds to go. Take a deep breath in and out. You wanna make sure that your arms fully extend at the top. Your triceps are the biggest muscle in your arm. And when you're wearing a dress, like on your wedding day, or if you're a bridesmaid, no matter what, you wanna make sure that they're sculpted, toned, without bat wings. You know what I'm talking about. Grab your other dumbbell. We're coming into a shoulder raise. We're only here for 30 seconds. Now I have really heavy weights, which is why we're only here for 30 seconds. I want you guys to challenge yourself. If you need to drop down, I have a set of 10 pounders that are right there in front of me. Do you wanna go heavy? Try to get them on out there. We have five seconds. Deep breath in. We're gonna come down to the ground. Four, three, two, one, come on down to the ground. We're coming into a skull crusher. 
Reach those dumbbells down by your ears, extend them up. We're working our triceps twice in this round because, like I said, they're the biggest muscle. And also, you don't wanna have jiggly arms on your wedding day. Whew. Again, like the tricep extension, if you need to drop down in weight, have your drop set there, halfway through, keep it up, or you can just drop down to one weight. Take it up, send it down, and up. We only have one move left in this circuit, and then we're gonna repeat each exercise one more time. Fun stuff, breathe. Whew. My triceps are definitely feeling it. Keep it up, don't give up. When it starts to burn is when it starts to change. Grab both dumbbells, you're gonna come into a chest fly. Work on your pecs, lifting your boobs. I'm giving you guys a boob job right now. You wanna have a slight bend in your elbow, you open it up and then you come back to start like you're hugging a beach ball. So open it up, bring it back down. Or bring it back up rather. Keep breathing, you should be sweating. Your arms should feel it. We've got 30 more seconds here, and then we're gonna go back to the top, starting with the push-up. You know you only have 30 seconds with the push-up, so make each one good and count. Breathe. Quick transition to that push-up. That's where your heart starts to really pump is when you reduce that time between the moves. You got it, keep it up. You're looking so good at home, so strong. Lifting that chest. All right, let's go back to push-ups. Quick transition, legs forward, and let's go. 30 seconds, whew, I can feel this. My arms are starting to feel like jello. Halfway there, 15 seconds. Stay strong. If you need to drop down to your toes, you have that option. My arms are starting to feel like jello. I'm sure yours are too at home. Three, two, one. Come on back to standing. Second set of our bicep curl with our shoulder press. Whew, I need some water. Your arms are gonna be looking so sexy, so strong. If you do this routine three times a week on non-consecutive days, it's just 10 minutes. You always have time to fit in a 10 minute workout. Whew, these last few reps are getting really hard, which means this is the right weight that I should be using. 30 seconds to go though. Here we go. Press it on up. Now ladies, if you're like, I don't wanna use that weight, you're not gonna bulk up. Trust me, it's a genetic thing. We do not have enough testosterone to get big, bulky muscles. Breathe out and it's also very genetic. Almost there. As you guys can tell, I'm really working for this. Three, two, one. Back to the row, bent over row. Bend your hips at 45 degrees and squeeze. Lower it down. If this gets to be too hard, you can always alternate one at a time. Bring them both back, let it out. Both back and down. Keep breathing. I know you guys are sweating. I'm sweating too. I'm doing it right with you. I'm breathing. Halfway there, 30 seconds to go. Whew. Squeeze it on up. Each time you bring those dumbbells to your waist, you wanna make sure that you're squeezing your back and then lower down all the way. Squeeze your back, lower down. A Little bit tighter this time, you're coming to the end. Almost press out your chest. You got it. Squeeze. Let go. Squeeze. Let go. We're coming on up to that tricep extension in three, two, one. Dropping down to one weight because my arms are really feeling it. You want to make sure that you have a nice slight bend in your knees. Bring that weight on up overhead. Squeeze your triceps. I probably should be doing a little bit heavier than 12.5 right now, but I'm still definitely feeling it. And I think 25 would be a little bit much. But challenge yourself. If you're doing this for the first time and tomorrow you wake up and you're not sore, 
That means you're not using heavy enough weight. You're not gonna change your body. You're not gonna sculpt those arms. Put in the effort, you can do it. If you say you can, chances are you will. If you say you can't, you definitely will. So take your chances. We're coming on up to our arm raises in three, two, one. Only 30 seconds here. Check out those arms, come on. And lift it up. Got a slight bend in my elbow. I'm lifting it on up. Do you notice my smile starts to fade? Because I am, I'm doing it with you guys. That's it, all you need is 10 minutes. You've got warm up in the beginning, nice cardio at the end. You've got it, we have five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Last two minutes, that's it. Last two minutes. Tricep, skull crusher. Lower the weights down, bring them on up. One minute here. We're so close to the end. I'm using the two for the last 30 seconds. I'm gonna drop down to just one weight, but if you have it, keep doing both weights. Whew. Never knew how high your heart rate could get just doing arms, I bet, right? Halfway there. The only joint moving is your elbow. I see a lot of people in my classes going like this. No, keep your elbow in line with your shoulder the entire time and bring that dumbbell back in line with it. Your elbow, your wrist, and your shoulder are all in the same line. The last move we have left is the chest fly. Let's go, this is it, last minute. Open it up and close it. Whew. My upper body is feeling it. My entire body is feeling it because I'm sweating everywhere and you guys can see it. Sexy, right? Add a little bit of tan, a little bit of sweat. Your muscles look leaner, so who cares? You guys got this. If you have a wedding coming up, this is what you want to be doing to get slim arms. 30 seconds left, that's it. If you want to work on that booty, let's lift those hips up. Squeeze it right here. Last bit. Whew. My arms are feeling it. Three times a week, non-consecutive days, you can do it. That's all it takes to get sculpted, sexy looking arms for your wedding, reunion, whatever it is. Keep it up here. Come on, you have five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh. My God, my arms felt like jello by the end, and I hope yours did too. Like I was saying during the video, do this sequence three times a week on non consecutive days for sculpted, lean, sexy, strong arms. Do not be afraid to lift heavy weights. I promise you, you're not gonna bulk up. Don't forget to check out my other full length videos if you liked this video, including my ultimate booty boot camp, one of my favorites. I'll see you guys soon.